I thought it was a terrific day. I think we had a really good exposition of some of the drivers for change and improvement in the NHS, which of course will come into force uh, from, from, from April. Um, we then had really good insights into some of the challenges which clinicians face from the, from the acute hospitals on getting children uh, who are ventilator dependent back home, back, back into family life where they should be, where they, where they belong. Delighted that Bliss was asked to be involved in, in this event. I hope it's the first of many collaborations that we can have with Children's Trust and with World Child as well. So important for us to make sure that there's a focus on the whole spectrum of childhood age. So from birth, those first few months, first few years, which often get somehow forgotten within the agenda around looking after children with very complex needs, but we know increasing rates of birth, increased rates of premature birth, this is the forward challenge that we're going to see. So there's a real need for Bliss to focus more on this and work with partners such as Well Child and the Children's Trust to make sure that we're doing absolutely the best things that we can for families and supporting professionals to do the best things for families too. There was a really useful day. I think that the, the, the main thing I'll take from today is the fact that we need to work closer together. Um, work closer together to have a stronger voice, to have a bigger impact on outcomes for these children. I think that's the most important thing that's come out of it. One of the other things that excited me about today was hearing from senior figures in the NHS, from the world of specialised commissioning, that they hope to apply national specialised commissioning to the whole pathway not just what's going on in the acute, in the acute sector immediately after, after, after birth. Um, and I think that having a coherent national view, national standards applied to these services are going to make life very much easier. It's going to make it easier for us to plan services. Um, it's going to make life easier and better for families and for children themselves. There's been a huge amount of change over the last couple of years and I think we're still trying to work out exactly what it means for, for babies and families who need specialist neonatal care. But generally the direction of travel has been good. And I think some very important things to do with both Health Watch and local uh, health and wellbeing boards where that engagement of local government, if we can get it right, if we can get a real focus on children within that there's some very significant opportunities to make sure that parent stories are heard, the voices of these children are heard, and there is the opportunity of change there. I think all of the organisations here, I know Children's Trust think that way, Well Child, my organisation, number one in the strategy is listening to families, listening to, to children, making sure we understand the issues, and only then can we help to either influence or put services in place for them. One of the things I took out of the day was uh, a hunger, an appetite for continuing this national dialogue about how to develop the right kind of pathway for these children uh, uh, and families. I feel that we might have started something today which, which we need to, need to continue.